As temperatures drop, it's not the kind of night you want to be stuck out in the cold. That's the situation for dozens of Lebanon residents finding themselves in tonight. KY3 Sarah Foreheads is back from Laclede County with more on this. Sarah? At least most people think as long as they pay their rent on time, they should have no problem at all staying in their home. But not the case tonight for about 50 Lebanon residents. They paid their rent on time, but the property owner where they're staying did not. So now it's left them in the cold and dark. It was posted on all 30 doors. Due to multiple non-payment of utility bills, the electric and water at the budget inn has been shut off. That's the letter Shelly Jones woke up to find early this morning. I have no idea where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, you know. Even though this is a motel, it's home to many folks. Some of them say they've been living here for more than eight years. But now, it will be tough to do. We're without everything. Water, electric, phone, everything. The only number to call for help can not offer much. It's the number to the local Red Cross. All they can give is blankets and small coolers for those with insulin. In Shelly's case, she feels like she's in double trouble. I have lung cancer and draw disability, and it's convenient because the hospital is just a couple blocks down the road, and I'm in, the, in and out of the hospital a lot because of my health. She says if only she could get her rent money back, she'd take it and try to go elsewhere. But that's not working out for her either. The letter on the door tells residents if they have any issues or concerns, they need to take it up with the motel owner. But the problem is when you get up to the front office, the door is locked and no one comes when you ring the bell. From my understanding, he knew this was coming and he didn't even make it a point to go from door to door and let people know so they can make provisions for their, you know, families. What she says up until this point, Lisa, that's very out of character for her landlord. She said only they have a great working relationship, and now no one can get a hold of them. The letter there that was posted on the door was actually signed at the bottom by the city of Lebanon and the police department. We talked to the police department. They said they didn't really have anything to do with actually shutting off the power. They were just there assisting, and we were not able to reach anyone with the city. So are people actually still staying there this evening? She said that she doesn't know where she's going, so she plans to stay there as long as possible, but it was getting pretty chilly in her room, and as temperatures dropped, they were hoping to be able to find somewhere else to go. Let's hope they find some resolution quickly. Sarah Forhead's live tonight in our newsroom.